In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use Siri to control non-HomeKit compatible devices. Devices such as smart light bulbs, smart plugs, smart switches. And in this case, we're going to control a smart light bulb in my office here. We're going to be using iOS shortcuts and the Google Assistant app. That means you need to have the latest version of iOS installed that supports shortcuts. And in this case, in my iPad, I have iOS 12.1 installed. And then you need the latest version of the Google Assistant app. There is another app called Google Home, which can control your smart light bulbs. But we, in this case, we need the Google Assistant app because the Google Assistant app is the one that supports iOS shortcuts. Now, in this tutorial, we're assuming that you've already connected your smart device to the Google Assistant already. And in my case, I've already connected a number of devices to my Google Assistant already. And the one that we're gonna work on here is my office light here. So if we exit out of this, first we need to do is open the settings app and go to Google Assistant. And then click on Siri and search. And if you don't see the shortcuts option here, that means you need to go into Google Assistant and do a sample command and then this shortcuts option will show up. So let's go in there right now. And you'll see that I only have a few different things here. I have the um, weather one and then the generic calling of Google Assistant. What we need is to really have a command that turns on our light bulbs. So in order for it to show up here in our recent shortcuts, we need to go back to the Google Assistant. And here I'm gonna issue a command called Turn on office. Turn on office. Okay, turning on the office. And the office turned on. And then I'm going to issue the command to turn off the office. Turn off office. Sure, turning off the office. Now that I've issued those commands, I can go back into my settings. Now it doesn't show up here right away. If I go back into here. Now I went away from it and went back into the Google Assistant and it did refresh the shortcut, recent shortcuts. So now you see that I have a turn off office and a turn on office. So now I'm gonna create a shortcut to turn on the office. And then I'm gonna record a trigger word for Siri. Turn on office. And I'm done. And then I'm gonna do the same for turning off the office. So I can choose the one from my recent shortcuts. And I'm gonna record a trigger word for Siri. Turn off office. And now I have that done. So to test this out, I'm going to launch Siri. Turn on office. And what you see there, it actually opened up the Google Assistant app and it issued that command. I'm gonna do it again. Turn off office. Again, it launched the Google Assistant app and it issued that command of turning off the office. Hope this was helpful. This has been a tutorial on how to use Siri to control non-HomeKit devices.